Well, you know, I've always had the acting bug. It's been kind of a thing I've had, even with the singing. I feel like they go hand in hand. Mm. You know, you really have to tell a story and create create a character and, and portray emotions when you're singing a song or writing a song. And I also knew at a very young age that I wanted to be an actor. Oh. Um, I used to play dead on the floor for my parents all the time. <laughs> I, would, <laughs> I would try to make them believe me. Like I would just, it would, everything was just about acting and singing for me all growing up. Um, wow. I've even, I even had people at a young age tell me that I should be an actor. Nice. Um, and that gave me a lot of confidence yeah. and support. Nice. Um, I started out in theater though. So I, I was doing stage work and musical theater and, and things like that. And it wasn't until I came to Toronto that I really decided that I wanted to get into film. It's okay. such a different kind of art than, than uh, the stage. So, sorry, when and, you say coming to Toronto, you're talking about coming from uh, Woeful. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. okay. Yeah. When I was in Nova Scotia, I didn't really do any kind of film work. Mm -hmm. There wasn't really anything there happening. Right. It was more stage work that I was doing. So mm -hmm. I was taking, uh, you know, theater from different teachers there, doing uh, stage performances and all of that nice. growing up. Nice. But I, I also really loved film and I wanted to get into that. That's what I deep down mm -hmm. wanted to do. And so when I came to Toronto, I started auditioning for things here. Um, and I did modeling as well and they, they went hand in hand. So I would do some modeling shoots and then that would get me into a different crowd of people that would introduce me to the acting. And so all those things were combined. Nice. Nice. Um, yeah. And I did quite a few really great films here in Toronto as well that I'm very proud of. Can you share some of them? <laughs> of course I can. Yeah. There's one actually that's out on Tubi right now. Okay. Um, yeah, it's called Heinous Acts. It's a horror film. And I'm actually in, there's three sections. I'm in the distortion section of the film. I think it's about the third story in. Okay. And I play the wife, the ghost wife that comes back to haunt my husband. <laughs> who basically killed me and our, and our daughter. Wow. And I come back to haunt him with his, him and his new girlfriend. Wow. Um, yeah, so I did that quite a few years back. Nice. And it's now airing on Tubi. So if you want to check it out. I will. I will. Oh, my gosh. Out. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, what's another one I've done? Well, they were doing. Uh, I think what the, there's a film called Rupture. I don't know if you've heard of that film Rupture. before. I've heard a name. Yeah. It was filmed back in 2015 at Cineplex um, at the studios here. Okay. And it aired 2016, I believe. So in that one, I got my own trailer and I got to be the double for one of the main actresses. And I got prosthetics done to my face. Uh, what? And, yeah. And it was for about two hours. I had prosthetics and my face was like, I'm talking to bro. Wow. Like, so scary. Um, and I had my own and I'm trying to think of the name of the actress. I wrote it down here. Where is it? Um, her name's Carrie Bichet. Uh, wow. And so I basically played the double the body yeah. double of her yeah and so when it when she she transforms into the kind of scary creature the scary creature is me it, okay um, so that yeah. was a lot of fun that was a, a smaller role but it was a bigger bigger kind of deal yeah, yeah. um also i did a, a film called grim which was uh filmed here and another one called a gun in a ring which is actually a tamil film that was filmed here as well. So there's quite a lot of them that I've done over the wow. years. Those are some of the notable ones. Nice. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so. You, you find that you're, I'm trying to now compare the two worlds, right? The, the singing <laughs> and the music side and the acting side. Where, which one of these brings you the most joy when you're on set or when you're in that space? really tough i know it's tough that's why i'm asking because i'm oh curious just the way you're um, describing it i'm like there's no way <laughs> one could be you know well okay what i will say is this shooting a music video is probably my ultimate best because i'm mixing both worlds together at the same time yes yes because i'm acting and i'm singing and that's it's right. all there that's right that's i would right. say that's probably my favorite but 
there's just so much good about it. It's just, I love every part of it. Nice. Every Nice. part, every part. Yeah. Man. Wow. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> yeah. what about the acting that keeps you still doing it? And what about the singing that keeps you still wanting to do what you're doing? Mm -hmm. Well, with acting, there's never really an end to it because you're always playing something, somebody else. You're playing a different character. And so you have to learn something new about this character. There's always something new. You're never bored because this character is always going to have something that's a little different from you or an experience that you haven't been through before. And so it's, it, it's always going to be different. There's always something new. And with the singing and, and stuff too, I mean, that never ends either because what I write comes from my life experiences and comes from things that happen to me. And so my life keeps moving and I keep experiencing new things and new phases of my life, which of course bring new songs. Um, and so I really feel like that's never really going to end either. Um, and you're always getting better Yeah. as you go, as you go, like, Every song you write, it's better than the last one. You know, you you know a bit more now about writing a song than you did the first time around. And it's kind of the same with acting too. Mm. 